Many of us have heard about ancient Egyptian papyri or Babylonian clay tables, but not so many people know about Russian birch bark manuscripts. Russian, Grimota slash as the name suggests, these are documents written on pieces of the inner layer of birch bark, which was commonly used for writing before the mass production of paper. The birch bark was used for writing for many centuries and in various cultures. The oldest birch bark manuscripts date to the 1st century CE and are believed to originate from Afghanistan. Early Sanskrit writers in the first several centuries CE also mentioned the use of birch bark, and the bark of Himalayan birch is still used today in India and Nepal for writing mantras. We see similar tradition in the Irish culture. According to legend, Irish native writing system called Ulm, or the tree alphabet, was invented by Ogma, who wrote a prescription on birch bark to Lu, Book of Ballymoat. The first letter of Ulm is Beith, and Belith means birch. The earliest Russian birch bark manuscripts, found in Veliki Novgorod, Novgorod the Great, date approximately to the 9th century. Probably the most famous Novgorod birch bark document are notes and homework exercises which belong to a boy named Onfim. Recently the expedition of Institute of Archaeology, Russian Academy of Sciences, has discovered a new birch mark manuscript in Veliki Novgorod. The manuscript, numbered 1132, was found in the cultural layer related to the 14th century, on one of the bridges of Vostvizhenskaya, Street on the Sofia side, Sofia Skaya Starona slash. Where the central part of Lyudin's end, Lyudin Konitz slash, was located in the Middle Ages. Unfortunately, the manuscript was torn apart back in the Middle Ages, and only the bottom two and a half lines survived. This is a unique piece. First of all, it mentions a military campaign, and it's quite rare that we get such information from the birch bark letters. Secondly, it mentions the region called Savolichit which lied in the Principality of Novgorod, and included the river basin of northern Vilna and Ongor. There are very few primary sources on Savology. It is mentioned only three times in the manuscripts dated to 12th-14th centuries. It is known that this was a hunting region, rich in fur animals, where the Novgorodians went on expeditions for furs and tributes. This was a crossing zone of interest for Novgorod and Rostov, later, Moscow which lead to frequent military conflicts. The author of this letter asks his addressee whether the army will proceed to Tsavology, and whether he should fear an attack. So perhaps the army, mentioned here, is related to one of these conflicts, because in a normal situation the tribute was collected without the armed forces participation. Not far from the place where the letter was found, on the territory of the estate, a seal was found. It belonged to the Novgorod mayor, Russian, Posadnik slash, Yuri Ivanovich who held this post in 1354 to 1380. Thanks to this find, archaeologists were able to date the cultural layer, from which the birch bark manuscript came, to the third quarter of the 14th century. After analyzing all the planks of the Vostvizhenskaya street bridge using the dendrochronological method, method of dating tree rings, it will be possible to date the find more accurately. Other objects were found during the archaeological excavations of Vostvizhenskaya street and the estates adjacent to it. Dated to 14th-16th centuries, numerous items made of non-ferrous metals, wood, bone, ceramics and glass, fragments of leather footwear and woolen fabric. These objects give us a better idea of what the life back in the day was like. Also, a large collection of crosses, rings, bracelets, amulets and other jewelry was collected. There were also Western European trade seals, fragments of barrel lids with ownership marks. Six lead hanging seals dated to 14th-15th centuries were found, which speaks of the high social status of the people living here, who were related to trade and ruling elite.